months after a 15-year-old girl was raped after getting off the school bus, police make an arrest, and the suspect is no stranger to the law. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley is live outside the Wake County Justice Center, digging deeper tonight. Colleen. Yeah, and Marius, this is by all accounts a really horrific case. This girl gets off the school bus, and prosecutors say Quain Hawkins followed her into a nearby park where she was violently raped. Now, we learned today that Hawkins has been arrested more than 30 times, including for assaulting a police officer. Months after the violent rape of a 15-year-old girl, police arrested Quain Hawkins near NC State's Good campus afternoon. Tuesday. Hawkins. The attack happened in October as the teen got off her school bus near Moore Square Park. She was approached by a stranger who was later identified as this defendant. He began asking her how old she was, whether or not she was legal, if she wanted to smoke marijuana, if she wanted to drink. Prosecutors say the girl kept walking, trying to ignore the man, but took note of what the stranger was wearing and what he looked like, including a tattoo on his temple. He continued to follow her and she was scared to actually stop at her home because she didn't want him to know where she lived um, and also she didn't want any of her siblings to get hurt. Prosecutors say the stranger began kissing and touching the girl before grabbing her. Pulled her into a secluded area where he pushed her up against a tree and raped her. According to records obtained by CBS 17, Hawkins has been arrested in the county 33 times in the past, including several assault charges, including battery of an unborn child in 2014 and assaulting an officer in 2012. It was concerning to me to see that there were so many assault charges that had been dismissed. We sat down with Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman, who explained many of the charges are misdemeanors and in some cases the victims wouldn't testify. Those offenses don't carry much time, um, but it's also, this isn't a great example of what happens when victims in domestic violence cases uh, don't come to court in our ability to move forward and so well prosecutor Police telling us today that they were able to identify Hawkins as a suspect pretty quickly, uh, but that they couldn't track him down until this week. Prosecutors in court today citing that lengthy criminal records for Hawkins and public safety. They asked for his bond to be increased to $1.5 million, and the judge agreed to do so. Hawkins is due back here next month. Reporting live in Wake County, Colin Quigley, CBS 17 News.